Have you ever noticed that your vaginal discharge changes throughout the month? Some days it may have the consistency of this egg. Other days it may be thick and sticky. You may even have days where the color changes to pink or even brown. Are you curious why this happens? Well, in today's video, we are going to explore all the different types of vaginal discharge and what they mean about your health and fertility. Let's get into them. Hi, I'm Dora, functional medicine health coach, women's health and fertility expert, and I'm going to be your tour guide on the adventure we are about to embark on learning about vaginal discharge. It is important to know that vaginal discharge is normal and is not usually a cause for concern. Vaginal discharge is considered any non-menstrual fluid that leaves the vagina. The glands inside your vagina create this fluid that allows dead cells, bacteria, and cervical mucus to be carried away. This is a self-cleaning function that keeps your vagina clean and free for infections. Normal vaginal discharge is usually odorless or only has a mild smell. Healthy vaginal discharge is usually a white or yellowish color and appears mucousy. The average amount of vaginal discharge secreted per day is around 1 to 4 milliliters. You might find that on some days you have an increased amount of vaginal discharge and may need to use a panty liner to absorb the excess fluid. You can thank your good friend estrogen for signaling your body to create vaginal discharge. Estrogen is a sex hormone that has many functions, which include the development and maintenance of female sexual characteristics. This includes the growth and development of the breasts, uterus, and vagina. And as estrogen goes up and down, so will your vaginal discharge. During times in which estrogen is high, such as around ovulation or during pregnancy, you will experience increased levels of vaginal discharge. When estrogen is low, such as perimenopause, you'll experience decreased levels of vaginal discharge. A lot of different types of vaginal discharge. Some types of vaginal discharge are to be expected, while some may signal a serious health concern. Let's play a game of, is that normal color for vaginal discharge? We're going to look at five different colors. Let's see how many you can get right. The first color on the color wheel is shades of white. Is white a normal color for vaginal discharge? So this pad doesn't look like it has anything on it from far away. But you're probably all too familiar with going to the bathroom and seeing white or clear discharge on your undies. This is a normal discharge. Did you get this one right? While vaginal discharge is a result of the self-cleansing that your vagina does daily, normal discharge should not have much texture. If you notice that you have a vaginal discharge that is white but has a cottage cheese-like texture, then you may have yeast infection. A vaginal yeast infection is caused by the fungus candida, which can cause intense itching, inflammation, and a thick white discharge from the vagina. This does require medication, so be sure to consult your healthcare provider if you are experiencing this. Brown. Usually when you think of wiping something brown when you go to the bathroom, you don't think about vaginal discharge. So is it brown a normal color for vaginal discharge? Well, sometimes your vaginal discharge may have a small amount of blood present inside of it, which then oxidizes when exposed to air and results in brownish hue. You may notice this around the time of your period, or you could see it during implantation bleeding which is the spotting that some women experience when a fertilized egg attaches to their uterus. In these cases, brown discharge is normal. Sometimes, brown discharge can occur during an ectopic pregnancy, during early pregnancy, or during a miscarriage. Typically though, brown discharge is not an issue if it is not accompanied by other symptoms. On to the next color, pink. Pink discharge can be a common occurrence for women. There can be a lot of reasons why you may be producing blood, which then mixes with vaginal discharge to make a discharge with a pink hue. You may notice that around the time of your period, you have a day or two where you have a pink vaginal discharge. A few other causes of pink vaginal discharge are ovulation bleeding, implantation bleeding, birth control, perimenopause, fibroids, or an ovarian cyst. 
bank discharge is not usually a cause for concern if it is not accompanied by any other symptoms. This one is kind of a tricky question, so don't worry if you didn't get it. Next up is gray vaginal discharge. Do you think gray vaginal discharge is normal? Gray discharge is not considered normal. You do not want to see 50 shades of gray in your underwear. Gray vaginal discharge is a signal that your body is experiencing an infection. And the likely culprit is bacterial vaginosis. One of the telltale signs is that the gray vaginal discharge smells fishy. This warrants a trip to see the medical professional because you are probably going to need a round of antibiotics. The final color of the day is green. When you think of a green bodily fluids, your mind probably paints the picture of someone who is sick. And you would be correct. But in this case, your vagina is sick and is trying to fight off an infection. The most common infections this is seen in are trichomoniasis, gonorrhea, and chlamydia. This warrants a trip to see your doctor so you can get a round of antibiotics. All right, how many of those did you know and which ones shocked you? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. With so many different types of vaginal discharge, it can be confusing to know when you should be worried. If you are experiencing vaginal discharge that has change in color, such as gray or green, has a full smell odor, and is accompanied by other symptoms such as itching or pain, then you should book an appointment to see your doctor. Those are abnormal signs of a vaginal discharge and may be signaling that you have a bacterial infection that will warrant a round of antibiotics. It's important to receive prompt medical care from vaginal infections because these infections can affect your ability to become pregnant due to the inflammation they cause and the potential for the infection to spread into the upper reproductive tract. If your vaginal discharge is white or clear, doesn't have any offensive odor, and it's accompanied by other symptoms, then you shouldn't be worried. In fact, vaginal discharge is a great indicator of your vaginal health. I've talked a lot about vaginal discharge so far, but I haven't addressed ooey gooey cervical mucus. So are cervical mucus and vaginal discharge the same thing? Well, cervical mucus is a part of vaginal discharge, but not all vaginal discharge is cervical mucus. Your cervix creates cervical mucus in response to estrogen. Thanks again, estrogen. This often slippery substance changes throughout the menstrual cycle and can range from sticky and white to watery and clear. Cervical mucus plays an important role in your ability to conceive. It is essentially sperm's best friend. Cervical mucus supports and nurtures sperm that is trying to enter the reproductive tract. It filters out any abnormal sperm that may be present and keeps the sperm safe from the hostile environment of the vagina. Cervical mucus also stores sperm for later release. This is why you can have sexual intercourse several days before ovulation and still get pregnant. Let's look at how cervical mucus changes throughout the month. This is based on a 28 day cycle. So please keep in mind these days may look different for you if you have a shorter or longer cycle. Cycle day one to five are your period. This is when you will experience your menstrual flow. There is cervical mucus present, but it is impossible to tell the consistency of the cervical mucus during this time because of the blood. On days six to 11, once your period is over, the cervical mucus is usually dry, sticky, and cloudy in color. On days 10 to 12, the cervical mucus becomes clearer, and the consistency is no longer dry and sticky, but creamy or liquidy. During days 11 to 16, which is a time around ovulation, the cervical mucus will transform into the saw after egg white cervical mucus. This is a cervical mucus associated with your fertile window. The cervical mucus is stretchy and watery, resembling of that of an egg white. After ovulation, days 17 to 28, the cervical mucus turns thick and dry. If you're interested in seeing what kind of cervical mucus you have right now, all you have to do is insert a finger into your vagina. Try get close to your cervix, but be careful not to scratch yourself if you have long fingernails. 
Once you obtain your sample, you can observe it for color and consistency. Spread the mucus across two fingers and try to pull it back and forth to note if it is stretchy or if it's thick. If the mucus is thick and sticky, then you might be post ovulation. If you have wet and slippery mucus that string in between your two fingers, then you might be around ovulation. Hint, it is time to do the baby dance. If you're on a trying to conceive journey, you'll want to become well acquainted with the different types of cervical mucus you produce, so don't be shy. The more practice you have at tracking your cervical mucus, the more readily you will be able to identify which phase of your cycle you're in. If you're trying to conceive, you're probably looking out for signs that may indicate pregnancy and may be wondering if a change in vaginal discharge could be an indicator. If you know what you're looking for, you just might be able to notice the change in vaginal discharge that occurs after conception. Almost immediately after conception, your estrogen levels will increase. This causes your vaginal walls to begin to thicken and produce more discharge that is thin, clear, with a whitish hue and mild odor. This happens before you even miss your period. Your body could be signaling you that you are pregnant even before you get a big fat positive. On the other hand, if you don't get pregnant, your cervical mucus gets thick and you will have very little vaginal discharge. Learning how to differentiate all the different types of vaginal discharge and cervical mucus can make it difficult to track during a trying to conceive journey. However, tracking your hormones with an ovulation test provides more accurate information. That is why I want to introduce you to the Needle Fertility Monitor. The Needle Fertility Monitor is a one-of-a-kind fertility monitor because it measures four hormones in one strip to help you confirm and predict ovulation. The four hormones that Inido measures are estrogen, luteinizing hormone, or LH, progesterone metabolite PDG, and follicular stimulating hormone FSH. The Inido Fertility Monitor gives you actual numerical values for each hormone and accuracy that is personalized to your unique body. The Inido Fertility Monitor also comes with a free, easy to use app to track your fertile days more easily and know exactly when you ovulate. You can view your personalized hormone chart on the app so you can plan your baby making activities. If you use coupon code FIRSTINEEDO15, you can get a 15% discount code on your Inido purchase. If you're trying to conceive, you do not want to miss this opportunity. Do you feel empowered now that you've learned more about vaginal discharge? I hope so. Are there any questions that you still have about vaginal discharge? Please leave them in the comments below. After all, staying informed about cervical mucus and vaginal discharge can help you during attempts to conceive and throughout pregnancy and beyond. If you like this kind of information, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Also, head on over to Instagram and follow at Inido Fertility for more fun and educational contents like this. I'll see you in the next one.